I know finding job opportunities abroad is a tricky but it is possible as I myself got job in Germany directly from India if you wonder how then check this playlist i have thoroughly explained how to find job how to crack interview and all of my experience today i'm going to talk about top 5 technologies that you must know or i would say you must have fundamentals cleared about them learning or knowing these technologies not only help you to crack interview but it will also help you to improve your work skill and efficiency first technology is git git is free and distributed version control system do not confuse git with the gitlab or github Those are basically repository management tools on the top of Git technology. Basically, Git is a software that runs locally and it keeps the track of all modifications that you are doing on your files in the form of versions. So, regardless of whether you write a code that only you will see or work as a part of a team, Git will be useful for you always. You must be using any of these version control systems such as GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket or maybe SVN. Well. If you are still using SVN then you need to upgrade it or switch the project or switch the company. I recommend you to get used to of all the basic usage of Git right from creating a feature branch, pulling or pushing your code into repository, resolving conflicts, standard commit patterns etc. I would also advise you to go into more advanced stuff like rebase, squash, fix up etc. Remember that Git is a very useful and most commonly used tool in the software industry. So, get used to it. second technology in the list is shell some of you might be using terminal to write shell commands if not and if you are a fan of a modern graphical user interface it is totally fine but if you spend some time and learn about shell and its commands your life will be much more easier bash c shell turbo c shell z shell these are some examples of shell well don't get confused with the cli cli is nothing but a command line interface on your computer where you type your commands i'm asking you to get hands on this because knowing and using terminal creating scripts for automating small tasks using command line interface for your git commands while doing pair programming session this kind of things will give a good impression to your interviewer third technology in the list is docker and kubernetes i am sure that most of you watching this video still don't have clear picture about how the tools like docker and kubernetes works internally or how exactly they are solving our problems if you already know this then it's really great if not then the first step would be to understand the problem that these tools are solving try to spare good amount of time and focus to understand them experiment docker and kubernetes on your local machine analyze how docker daemon or kube nodes works if you are conceptually clear on this it will surely help you in your system design round or tech to level round Agile basically is not a technology but rather it's a practice or let's say a process management protocol that defines various approaches to develop software and deliver values to the customer with fewer headaches. In my whole decade of experience I have worked with number of companies and believe me almost all of those organizations follow agile approach in some way. It is that common. In fact your company might also be following agile approach in any way. But my point is read about it more and understand its core concepts. I mean think why this type of methodologies exist in the world and what which part of it will give benefit to you and your organizations learn about iterative development kanban scrum understand how continuous integration and continuous deployment works if you thoroughly know how product is built following agile standards then this knowledge will help you to demonstrate your work and process management skills to the interviewer There are millions of C# sharp programmers, Java programmers, Python developers, mobile app developers and more. But if they want to handle data, what do they do or what do they use? SQL. Learn the basic like commands in the SQL 92 standards and you will have a skill that will carry you years in the future. Even if you do not intend to become a programmer, data scientist or data analyst, learning SQL is a good exercise to better understand how your company's data is structured and what you can possibly achieve by combining various data sources. Having good hands-on SQL is something like knowing basic concepts of object-oriented programming. This will help you to work with any type of relational database or even learning and understanding no SQL databases concepts will gets easy if you already know the SQL. All right, those are my top 5 picks from the list of must learn technologies or tools. Let me know which technology you prefer to add in this list. Write them in the comment section and I hope you find this video useful for your job hunt. I wish you best luck. I will see you in the next one. Meanwhile, take care, stay healthy and stay wealthy. Bye.